What's up, Wastelanders? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing great, and I hope you are too. It's me, Kiki B. Welcome to a brand new episode of Kiki B Plays Fallout 76. I've gotten quite a few questions since the last video about the column blueprint that I used to glitch that shipping container into midair, and since I haven't covered the details on that in a while, and not everyone has watched all of my videos, I can't even believe it, I figured I'd do a video not just on how to make the blueprint itself, but also some of the interesting and useful stuff that you can do with it. Before we get started, though, I have a little announcement. We're going to be premiering a brand new series, The Backseat Gamer Show, this Friday at midnight CET, 6 p.m. EST, and we will have a very special guest on the show. If you're not familiar with premieres on YouTube, it's an opportunity for us all to chat live while we watch together, kind of like a live stream, but for a video. So put that one in your calendar and make sure that you're subscribed and you've turned on channel notifications so you don't miss out. It's going to be a lot of ridiculous fun, and I cannot wait to watch it with you. Now, if you love what I do here and are interested in supporting this channel, why not join our Patreon family? Head on over to patreon.com slash or click on that link down in the description to find out more and learn how you can get your name in the credits of my videos. And of course, join us over on Instagram at KikiBeePlays. We would love to see you there. So now that we've covered the important stuff, let's take a look at this magical blueprint. First off, we actually have to make the thing. So put down a foundation because everything has to start with a foundation. Snap two of these short columns from the stairs category onto the foundation, one on top of the other like this, and then remove the bottom one. Now you're going to grab a small item from the floor decor category, um, lawn gnomes or the small vault girl statue work best and you'll see why in a couple minutes, but you can also use a death claw egg if you have none of those. Put that right where the column was a moment ago, and then snap the column back into place over it. Now you're going to blueprint the two columns and the floor object together, and the hard part's done. Now we can use this blueprint to place columns anywhere. What good does that do? Well, for starters, let's say I want to make a homemade porch that doesn't suck. Yes, I already own all the pre-made Atomic Shop porches, but those don't always look right, you know? Anyway, you can place this blueprint wherever you would want columns to go on your porch to look like they support the roof. And then we're just going to move a few things around and we'll end up with something nice. Like, wasteland nice, not like pre-war nice. So when you've got those where you want them, pick up the bottom columns and snap them on top, then remove the floaty ones that are left, and get rid of Vault Girl here. Once she's out of the way, you can snap full-length columns underneath and remove the ones on the roof, and you have a porch that looks good and doesn't have a metal post in the middle of where you want to put your stairs. Now it's time to get a little fancier. You can snap catwalks onto columns, which is where Vault Girl here comes in handy. If you placed her facing toward your foundation like I did, the catwalks will always snap behind her, so it's much easier to plan stuff like your floating shipping container build when you know where the catwalks are going to end up. And of course, because catwalks are magic, you can snap walls to the catwalks, above or below, and then remove the catwalks to create floating walls absolutely anywhere. We're going to have even more fun now doing things Bethesda doesn't want us to do. These columns are great for floating stairs. You can attach a catwalk and then snap a normal staircase to the catwalk, but you can also snap one of these big staircases straight onto the column. Just like the catwalks, they will snap behind Vault Girl because they don't want to leave any witnesses. So now get rid of the evidence, and you've got a wonderful big staircase that looks like you just set it on the ground like you should have been able to do in the first place. Just plan ahead when you're building onto one of these, because it's impossible to simply remove floors from them later. It's a whole process, and it's really frustrating. My last little trick today is great for some of those camp locations that look nice but are sometimes a little awkward to walk around. If you've got a stream running through your camp, you can use these to make a catwalk footbridge. Obviously, Vault Girl forgot to equip Aqua Girl, so you'll have to place her on dry land or foundation. But now you can snap some catwalks on there to create your very own bridge that's a lot easier to use than the Atomic Shop bridges, no matter how nice those might look. And if you just go back then and remove some of those catwalks, you can snap columns in there to create support posts so it doesn't look like the stupid floating glitch that it actually is. Now you can cross the water in peace and safety without worrying about the rads or waterborne diseases or bitey fish or gross slimy water plants under your feet. That's it from me today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned something. Don't forget to make sure that you're subscribed and you've turned on those channel notifications so you don't miss out on the next absolutely amazing video. And join us on Friday for the premiere of the Backseat Gamer Show to find out who our very special guest will be. If you liked this and you're interested in supporting this channel, check out that Patreon link down below. And of course, join us over on Instagram. 
And with that, folks, take care of yourselves, be good to each other, and I will see you in the next video.